Hi there, and welcome to the Air Equipment LLC YouTube channel. This is part two of our discussion about energy recovery ventilators. In the North American market, the most common method used for ERV is a desiccant wheel. The wheel, as shown here in this illustration, is made up of fins, and those fins have been treated with a chemical that absorbs moisture. Now, our two airstreams involve the exhaust airstream leaving the building and the outdoor air airstream coming into the building. They pass through the wheel, and the wheel rotates. So, say in, in the winter, the warm air that's already in the building, it'll pass through, shown here as return air, RA, it passes through the wheel, and it transfers the energy, the heat, to the fins on the wheel. The wheel rotates, and then the outdoor air, the OA, shown here, passes through and the energy is transferred to that airstream and then it becomes the supply air that comes into the building. So as we said in our last segment, if it's zero degrees outside, by doing the energy recovery ventilation, what we do is we can raise that outdoor air temperature to say 50 degrees or so before we have to worry about spending any money now to heat it up uh, to get it to be an acceptable temperature to bring into the building. So we're saving a lot of energy by doing this. Another method that is used for energy recovery ventilation is called a static plate core. Now there are a lot of uh, products on the market, especially for the residential market, that use aluminum or plastic for the core. And this will transfer sensible heat from one airstream to the other, but no moisture is able to transfer. So you don't get any latent heat transfer with this type of a core. Another type of static plate core, the one that Renew Air uses, is called a hydroscopic resin and a true enthalpic core. This has sensible and latent heat transfer. You can change the temperature of the airstreams and you get moisture moving from one airstream to the other. So you do, it's truly an ERV, an energy recovery ventilator, not just an HRV, a heat recovery ventilator. Uh, you may have heard the term LOSNE. This is a technology developed by Mitsubishi, and Mitsubishi does supply the cores for Renew Air. Everything else about the units are assembled in Wisconsin in the Renew Air factory. The only thing they buy uh, is the, the core from Mitsubishi, but it's a really high performance, high efficient core that transfers energy from one airstream to the other. Here's an illustration, a close up illustration of the Renew Air core. And as you can see, it's a series of air passages and every other air passage has the air moving from one side to the other. And then the opposite, every other air passage is at a 90 degree angle. So the two airstreams come into the core at 90 degrees to each other and they cross through the core and as they're in the core they transfer heat from one airstream to the other. And here's an illustration of a typical unit and as you can see the heat recovery core is just this fairly big cube in one side of the unit. There are a couple of pre-filters there that uh, filter out any particulates before the, uh, the air gets into the core. And only on the left side, on the blower section of it, are there any moving parts. And this is one of the really uh, ter terrific features of the Renew Air product, that it is such low maintenance. There is no moving parts on the heat recovery side of the unit, which we can't say about desiccant wheel type units because the wheel has to rotate. It requires a motor and a belt and seals, and it's a, it's a fairly complicated setup and requires a fair amount of maintenance. With the Renew Air core, we get full energy transfer, as I mentioned. The heat is transferred via conduction because the two airstreams come in such close proximity to each other. The humidity, uh, latent heat transfer, is done via a difference in the water vapor pressure. Whichever airstream has a higher water vapor pressure, the moisture will move right through the membrane into the other airstream. But what's really nice about Renew Air is that it is a completely dry process. There's no need for condensate drain or pans. There's no need for uh, frost control concerns, at least uh, south of Canada. Uh, with Renew Air, uh, unlike a desiccant wheel, now a desiccant wheel, if the temperature in your area gets down to freezing, you have to be concerned about frost control. With the Renew Air unit, the only time you need to worry about frost control is when two conditions are present. 
the outdoor air temperature has to be at least minus 10 Fahrenheit and the indoor air condition has to be that the uh, humidity, the relative humidity in your building has to be 40%. Now when it's that cold outside, it's almost impossible to have an RH that high in the building. So, so basically, in all of the United States, there's simply no concern about uh, adding expensive frost control measures to your ERV. Renew Air simply operates without having to worry about that. Uh, in addition, the Renew Air unit, uh, even though the two airstreams come very close to each other within that core, they are completely separate. It is 100% ARI certified to have zero cross leakage. So you can use Renew Air for your bathroom exhaust, and the only thing that will transfer from the exhaust airstream to the supply airstream is the energy. You will not get any unwanted smells recycling back into your building. And here's a little... Uh, Kind of a close-up image of the core you can see that there are the uh, the air passages going in one direction and then every every other row has the air coming in from a 90 degree angle using the renew air unit can save anywhere from 50 to 70 percent on the energy bill to heat and cool your outdoor air uh, so it's it, it pays for itself really quickly and it, it's a very very efficient unit also there's no need for a third motor to spin the wheel, like with a desiccant wheel type unit, typically the pressure drop through the core is less than the pressure drop through a desiccant wheel. So the Renew Air does have very remarkable performance. With the Renew Air unit, out of the box, when first installed, the efficiency, especially, especially on the latent side, is slightly less than what you will get with a desiccant wheel type unit. However, when you're comparing 70% to say 65%, there is a, it's not quite the same, but that 65% is nothing to sneeze at. It's very, very impressive. One thing to keep in mind, however, is that with desiccant wheels, what does the latent heat transfer is the chemical that's been applied to the fins. Over time, with airstreams blowing back and forth across that wheel, that chemical degrades. Some of it wears away, some of it stops working, and the percentage of efficiency of the unit five, eight, nine years after it's been installed is not the same as when it was first installed. This little graph here illustrates, uh, and it depends on the quality of the wheel, but the degradation of the, uh, the performance of a desiccant wheel uh, may, may be quicker or, or a little bit slower over time, but they all degrade somewhat over time. With the Renew Air, there is no chemicals involved. The core material is what it is, and there's nothing to wear away. So whatever the effective percentage when it's first installed, that's going to be the same percentage five years, 10 years, 20 years down the road. So keep that in mind. If you're reviewing uh, submittal sheets, and the desiccant wheel appears to be performing slightly better than the Renew Air uh, static plate core, that may very well be true, brand new. But five years down the road, seven years down the road, 10 years down the road, uh, very likely the Renew Air will have a higher percentage of effectiveness because it never degrades. It stays the same through the life of the product. With the Renew Air unit, one of the biggest features that we get feedback from so many facility managers that they love this unit because maintenance is so simple. As I mentioned before, there's no moving parts on the heat recovery part of the unit. Once a year, you, you change the pre-filters, and while you have the filters out, you shop vac the intake side of the core with a soft brush, and that's it. All your maintenance is done. With a desiccant wheel type unit, the maintenance procedure is very complicated taking that cassette tray out, taking it apart, cleaning it, putting it back in, getting the seals right, getting the belt reapplied. It's, it's a very complicated process where the Renew Air unit is very, very simple. And nowadays, the facilities people, they want simplicity. They want uh, the maintenance of their HVAC equipment to be as simple and easy as possible. So please stay tuned and watch part three of our discussion of energy recovery ventilators. Thank <music> you.